It's one of the most important and rewarding careers in the world. We're talking about teaching. And if you have a desire to be a teacher, the best way to begin is with a good, solid education. We've been exploring quality forms of education, and we just found a great online university that you will definitely want to check out. Joining us now from Western Governors University is Emily Lyman, and a graduate of Western Governor University's Teachers College, Orletha Smith. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. It is so great to have you here. Let's just dive right in, Emily. Tell me a little bit about Western Governors University. Western Governors University is a nonprofit organization that was started by the governors of the Western states in an effort to improve the quality of teachers in their states. Wow. Now, since then, we've expanded, and we now license students within all 50 states in master's and bachelor's programs. Wow. We're fully accredited. And because we're nonprofit, we're mostly interested in attracting the sort of students, such as Orletha here, who really has a calling, really wants to become a teacher. Someone who really wants to become a teacher. That leads us to you, Orletha. Let's talk about your experience. Tell me why this was a good choice for you. Well, of course, like most 18 year olds, you grow and you go to college and you say, this is what I want to be when I grow up. And I had no clue. So. <laughs> When I grew up, I decided, you know what, I want to be a teacher. And becoming a teacher, of course, required a degree and a credential. Um, but I was still working, so I kind of had to put work and the kids and the husband all in the blender and how was I going to get a degree and It a was credential. a balancing act. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Western Governors University made it all possible because I had to, it was the only one that was flexible enough so that I could do homework at two o'clock in the morning and not feel all alone because I could pick up the phone or send an email to an instructor about a question and that's why I chose to stay on and finish my master's there as well. Wow, and you're getting your master's as well. That's yeah. really impressive. Now, she was just mentioning that it's a balancing act to try as an adult, as a person in their 30s with kids and a, a job to go back and get a degree. What is the experience like for working adults who want to become teachers? WGU is really tailored to the working adult. Our average age is roughly 36. 36. And our students come with a host of other experiences that they can use to help accelerate their program. Mm -hmm. We're competency based. So if we have a student such as Orletha who was an instructional designer in the corporate world for 12 years, well when she hits the instructional design component, she's going to accelerate through. Sure. And this saves her time and it saves her money. Well, that's really fascinating about your personal experience. You had a certain uh, level of professionalism, some experience in the real world, but you also, when you went back for your teaching degree, you focused on science, right? Biology. Right. Yeah. Biology. Tell me what your curriculum lo was like. What the uh, what the program was like for you? Well, the program was amazing. Again, as Emily said, it was competency based. So when I got to the things that I was already competent in, all I had to do was prove it and then move right on through it. But the things that I did need help in, for instance, chemistry or biology, I actually got a science kit at home and I got to do experiments with the kids <laughs> in front of everybody on the coffee table. You know, we're growing cultures at home, so it was amazing. And I also had the help of a mentor who walked me through the whole program and was always there. And there were all, also other students that I could speak to and work with. So it was amazing for me because you never felt alone. And on top of all of that, it was affordable and really flexible for me. So, you, And you felt like you had resources available at any time if you ever got any stuck time. on an assignment or, or confused about anything. Totally. There were message boards. There were um, pop-up. I could do chat. I could do uh, email. I could pick up the phone even and just, you know, really talk to someone. So it was just an amazing experience for me. And an impressive one if you're thinking about getting an online degree. One of the things I know that teachers uh, have to get or have to do as part of getting their, their teaching uh, certificate or their teaching degree is student teaching. Is that something that Western Governors University also helps uh, students do? Absolutely. It's imperative for any good teacher to be in the classroom often and early in their experience. Yeah. We have our students in classrooms in all 50 states and we work very closely with the student to find a school that is convenient for them. Mm -hmm. We have pre-licensure experience where the students have the chance to be in the classroom even before they do student teaching wow. and then of course the student teaching. Now, people have, I think, misconceptions about getting an online degree, about you know, not attending the traditional brick and mortar institution. Let's get rid of some of those misconceptions. Tell me what these misconceptions are and what we should, what we should stop thinking about. <laughs> well, I think, first of all, you should stop thinking that, there's, that we're a diploma mill. We most decidedly are not. We are, we are very rigorous. Students need to be expecting to spend between 15 and 20 hours with us in order to accelerate through their degree. They also should not worry too much about accreditation. 
WGU has made every effort and we are accredited both regionally and nationally as wow. well as a recent accreditation which is the NCATE accreditation. This is considered by most to be the most prestigious accreditation that can be afforded any teacher license for school. That's really amazing, especially to have that kind of accreditation for an online university. What about financial aid? If people are trying to find something that's affordable and flexible, as Relitha said, is there financial aid available? There is, and it, just as any university has financial aid, we do as well. One thing to also bear in mind is that we're roughly half the cost of usual online schools. This is because we're nonprofit. And so we want, we sincerely want to make the best teachers we can, and we don't want finances to be an impediment for that. So we do keep our tuition very low. So you're right, it is just not a diploma mill. It's really about getting great quality teachers out there. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for joining us, and best of luck to you, Arlita. Thank you. And it's been great to learn more about this. Thanks for having us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Now, for our viewers there at home, if you want to find out more about Western Governors University, just check out their website, which is wgu.edu.